in a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Grim Dawn. And there has been a big update. Now, it's not like a big content update, but it is one of the largest bug fixes and patches that they've ever put out. Um, a lot of it is individual stat items, individual, um, like every, every class got an improvement. Some of them, like one or two got like what we consider possibly a debuff. Like let's say the Doom Bolt. Doom Bolt it doesn't cost as much energy to cost now uh, to cast now. So that technically is a improvement, but it's not like a big. So it's a lot of little improvements to the game. Um, a lot of it is was to address the two new classes that they put in that didn't have sets that would work in the current uh, iteration of the game. And I think they were going through, there's a couple things they were uh, adding and taking out of the game that were causing problems. There was a, uh, a bleed stat that would cause crashes. And the, the best way to take care of that was to actually remove that bleed ability out of the game. And so they've taken pretty much that out completely. So a lot of things were changed. Most... Uh, most equipment that was already in your inventory isn't going to be, um, isn't, it's not like you're gonna, you know, log in, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna, all your gear is gonna suck or anything like that. Certain items aren't gonna be changed, um, but some will. Like, if you have a set item, those set items would be affected, but individual greens and, uh, from what I've seen, individual greens and individual, um, random loot drops I don't think had those updates applied. Um, there's a couple big things. Casting has now changed. Before when you went to cast a spell your character would move forward into a position so that they could actually cast that spell and now that doesn't happen. The uh, Your character will cast a spell from where they're at and what I think ha that means is that if they can't, if the spell is out of range, it just doesn't cast. You'll uh, you'll go through the motions of casting it, but you won't lose the mana and the spell won't be fired off. So you have to move your character into the proper position to actually cast the spell now, if I understand it correctly. I don't play very many casters, so it's kind of hit or miss for me. I mean, some, I've got characters that use spells and use abilities, but I don't think I have anything that, that requires... I'm more of like, whoa, 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 talking and not watching what I'm doing and dying. That's the first time she's died in a while. Sheesh. Guess I should be uh, watching what I'm doing and uh, not yammering so much, right? Now, one big thing that was changed, though, is the developers felt that there was a, uh, a too large of a gap between the armor for casters and the armor for uh, heavy, you know, for up in your face, uh, like what I'm doing with this build. So they buffed caster armor to make, uh, so if you were playing a caster before, and you logged off and you um, the last time before the patch went through and you had, you know, 600 uh, armor, you know, your current gear gave you 600 armor. Now you're gonna log in and maybe you'll have a thousand or more uh, armor on that same gear. And they just increased that. They also changed the blacksmiths uh, that you start with and they used to give, uh, one of them gave a buff to, all right, is that the last vent? No, that's the north, I need to go to a southern vent. Um, 
they gave a, a, a buff to elemental damage or physical damage. And now they just give buffs to physique. They both just give buffs to physique. So I don't know if that kind of makes it so it doesn't matter which one uh, you choose now. But I think they're taking those uh, percent uh, to physical damage, percent to physique damage out of the game. Because they're kind of ir ir irrelevant. Once you get up to certain levels, it, it, there was only even a, I mean, it's a drop in the bucket that amount of damage you're doing, and it makes no sense. Maybe it's over here. I can't so yeah, big update. Doesn't so far. I haven't seen any piece of gear that this character is currently using that was affected, and I haven't thought this character out so much to the end to say I am I am building a character to use X, Y, and Z gear. It's basically I'm building a character to use the gear that I can find now. And yeah, there's a few pieces that this piece or that piece would be cool if I could find it. But my chances of finding that gear are probably few and far between. I am interested in possibly trying out my Poison Mancher some more. With some of these changes, maybe I'll address some of the issues I thought out the character was having in uh, the higher difficulty levels. On normal, my poison mancer was ripping crap apart. It was awesome. But when I got higher levels and they got better resistances, yeah, she was feeling a little weak. Um, no, I think I want to go over this way and check this area out over here. I honestly have no clue where I'm going. Like I said, I'm not watching other people. I mean, it's not that I don't watch other people uh, play this game, but I'm not. I'm not watching ahead. Uh, Wolf Overclock has, has probably run this a couple of times on videos, and I haven't watched. You know, I'll watch the stuff that I've already been through, but once he says, "Okay, I'm going into this area, an area I haven't been in," I, I don't watch it. I don't want you guys to, you know, see my, my initial reactions to these areas. Or my initial inability to find where I'm supposed to be at any given moment. Now this character's starting to feel um, not so overpowered, which might be a good thing because I am... Uh, as one of my uh, uh, viewers said, I'm like a, a hot knife through butter. And that's basically, it's a good description of what I am trying to build to this this character. Is somebody that, that basically is that hot knife through butter. And I'm melting them and burning through them and, you know, stealing their life to supplement mine. You know, your basic vampire type idea, which I, I'm, all, I'm good with that. Ooh, 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 hello. No whammies, no whammies. Give me the good ones. Witch Stalker. Ah, yeah, I'm not so much into the range. I mean, I do use range for my Poison Mancer, but it's built specific. Specific. So I need to destroy the southern vent. I saw an area on the map, I'll look at it in a second, that might be possibly a vent. Stupid caster. Whoa. This is a boss, level 69. Ooh, took a beating. Didn't do a lot of damage to me, but definitely took a beating. Ah, so that's the living event that I need to get. And it looks like I can possibly get this way. That's where I was thinking I needed to go, but it's actually right there. Well, cool. I'm glad. At least now, at least now I have an idea where I'm going. The question is, can I get there without being killed again? See, you guys thought I was lying to you when I said this, this character can be killed. No, she can die. If I'm not paying attention, she dies pretty easy, actually. She's right in the middle of it. 
but if I can get out of the poo. Or pay attention and pop a... See, it's that stupid aether fire. That's probably what got me the last time. Double hero. More aether fire. Trying to get away from that. Alright. I still got it. See? Look how long that aether fire stays around. Oh, thank you. Vent. And oh, that wasn't the one I was I needed. Then why was it starred? All right, so I need a southern vent, and that's the furthest south I could go. I can't this, open that. No, nope, locked. That's north. So the vent's got to be. Okay, I'm going to run past mobs and probably not fight anything unless I get cornered. Use my ability to run around. I will open chests, though. Let me pass. That was an ominous sound. I honestly do not know what that sound meant or was. Get over to the guardian. Get that taken out. Hey, I'm respected now. Awesome. All right. I'm gonna run along this way. Now, I was already over here, and I never saw a star pop up. But south is this way in this game. Yeah. I'll go through these houses. Maybe I was over here and just didn't, didn't look at my map and didn't see the star pop up, which is why I'm running through here just... I think this is a side dungeon. I can't open that. Yeah. Oh, but I'll take a green. Thank you very much. Maybe in that area over there. Uh, the fastest way over there. I don't know if I can go this way, but I'm going to try it. Go up. Over. <laughs> Knock him down. I was going to say run over him, but run past him. Oh, this is, this is getting a little hairy. Yeah, I got a boss here. Oh, yeah, this is hard. It hurts. All right, at least I found it. Get my debuffs on everything. <laughs> Look at that. Just my, uh, my deb I debuffed everything. It hit my, I might have hit the boss once or twice. And I was able to kill him. I need to clear out the area for a second, though. Too much aether fire. Oh, jeez. Probably not going to drop anything I want, either. Nah, nothing I really, really want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want purples. And I want lots of them. Hey, at least I'm honest, right? Yay! All right, now back to... where I was at before. See, this is that maze thing I was telling you about that, yeah, at first I found kind of interesting and it was like nostalgia because it reminded me of, uh, of one of my favorite books, but now it's just annoying that I have to run through it all the time. And yes, I'm keeping my map open for just that reason, to make it easier to um, transverse this area as fast as possible. So I'm not wasting your guys' time. I mean, I don't want you guys to... 
Um, who's fighting? Ah, the good guys are here. Okay, all brand new, never been in here before. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pop a portal. Scout out the, the initial opening of this area and see what we see. All right, nothing surprising about the enemies. Similar to what we were facing upstairs. Hence, I gotta probably watch out for Aether Fire. stuff up. Oh, I got a recipe for a blueprint I didn't have. Okay. If I want to start a mage, that's a nice, uh, nice blueprint for a mage. Not going to complain about that. Blueprints are always nice to get. Come on. Oh, Aether Fire. Damn it. Get away from the Aether Fire. Aether Fire and then the, the bleed. The pulls of bleed. They're debuff you. That's pretty bad. I don't know if it's bleed or if it's a vitality hit, but it is something. And it definitely hurts. Oh, thank you for standing there and letting me uh, jump up to you. Very nice and kind of you. See, that body pox, it's not very powerful, but it's, it's procking my other abilities, which is doing a ton of damage. And because it spreads automatically through the enemies, it, it's, you know, as new enemies come up, they walk over the dead bodies that are infected, then my abilities keep procking and procking. It's awesome. Oh, that reminds me, there's a lot of changes to constellations. And I need to actually s sit down and go through that to see if I need to change anything. But a lot of them were us to add movement buffs to the constellation. So a lot of starters that that didn't have abilities, you know, anything that affected your character like movement or your your strength or, or whatever. Stars that didn't have anything now have stuff. And then um, ones that already had something probably had something extra added on to it. So definitely check out your constellations because uh, there, or there, that probably changed a little bit for everybody. Even this character was affected by it, I'm sure. I just, I forgot to check for it. And it's probably why I feel a little more nimble and fast on her feet. Which, for this character, is a good thing. Gotta make sure I keep casting my heal whenever it's up because I'm always in poo especially this area wow and now I see what they were talking about ground effects the uh, the, the nasty pulls on the ground the aether fire the stuff that you can't dodge the stuff that um, is not uh, avoidable other than just moving out of the way that's that's what makes this more difficult and i'll just start doing i'll run up dot everything pull back the stuff that's nasty with the aether fire i'll just let it die and then uh come back over in a second and kill off the rest of the stuff it's viable Flesh bound door. Sounds nasty. Ooh, full of blood. 
I don't know if I'm going the right way, but since that was marked, I'm going to assume that I'm probably going the right way. See that's see that's all I can do. I can just keep moving through the end. Oh man, those bodies are are stuck in the wall and they're trying to attack me. Do you see that? Look at that right there. They're just mo their bodies stuck in there, just moving. Okay, that's really cool. That uh, that makes me think of uh, aliens. Aliens reference there. All you need now is face huggers. <laughs> can't do that yet. Yeah, I think I, what I'll what I'll do is start doing that more often. Dot everything up. Stay on the fringes. Stay out of their their poo and aether fire. Oh, what collector? Not bad. Mm, okay. Now I'm starting to see more caster gear. I mean, it's better than seeing constant lightning gear because that's all I was seeing for ages there. Episode after episode was just, you must go lightning. You must go lightning. But I, but I don't want to play lightning. It's, it's not my element. I can't open that. Okay, so that's the, the end area. And I gotta sway the shaper of the flesh first. So I gotta find that baddie. That I mean, we are near the end of the expansion, I believe. I mean, there's some stuff, there's probably some content I haven't. Look at the eyes looking at me. It's kind of cool. Um, there is some stuff I haven't seen yet. And I'm in no, by no means am I rushing this. I'm pretty sure we're going to have another video on this before I, I complete it. Now, if I knew exactly where I was going or, you know, what I was looking for, ooh, this must be a boss area. Ah, okay. Now this is supposed to be the demon that actually uh, that uh, possessed Creek. He seemed kind of easy. I have a feeling that that's not it. Wow. Nice cold item. Anything else over here? Hidden treasures. Just want to check this out before I leave, because I'm gonna be f furious if there's a a chest with a guaranteed legendary, epic or whatever item in it, and I don't find it. But no, I'm not saying anything. Okay, uh, let's follow this path then. I thought that guy would be harder. Like I said, she does feel overpowered at times. As long as it's not Aether Fire, she's overpowered. If it's Aether Fire, she's, a, she's just as vulnerable as anybody else to it, I guess. Twin Fangs. To 19. Whoa, that's some weird ass moaning. Out of the Aether Fire. That skill's not ready. Man, somebody's being tortured. These up. They're not rare ones, but. Alright, feels like I might need to go back up to the upper level to find what I need. Thank you. To find what I need to open that up. Which means it's going to be in the next episode, I think. Unless I get lucky and 
find what I'm looking for here. That skill is not ready. I mean, I did make a big level. I made it to 65, which is huge because that opens up some uh, some gear items that I have waiting for this character. My empowered omens. Oh, next level is going to be fun, guys. I have new improved weapons. My Empowered Omen is doing a lot more vitality damage, sucking more life out of my enemies, and bringing it into my body. <laughs> okay, one of those choices, huh? Okay, so do I let the possessed guy go? Or kill him? I'm thinking I'll take a chance. There might be a repercussion for that, but I'm not gonna I'm not going to cheat and go online and see. Now that I've made the decision, I might go and see what re the ramifications of the of the bad choice I just made. But yeah, it looks like I have to go up to the next level. Uh, yeah. All right, let's jump back. And check out these new swords. I clean up my inventory, it's starting to get full of all these greens. And third tab. Here we go. Six. Oh, I need 121 honey. Uh oh. I don't have enough honey. I've been putting all my points here. I need to get... Devotion points. Reset my attributes. Alright, raise this until everything I'm wearing can be equipped. Okay. So that's the bare minimum to wear uh, the stuff that I have, and then 421 cunning. Wow, 100 cunning worth. It's worth it, though. Because this is, this is going to really increase my damage, too. So 13, and then put the rest in the physique to keep me alive. Now, I'm going to lose some health, and, you know, that's not the greatest thing in the world, either, but... It could be worse. Oh yeah. Now I need to augment those. And I'm probably gonna do the same thing. If I don't have them available, I'll just take them out of the weapons that I already have. Which I'll probably just do it that way. It's easier. It's faster. And then I've got to get the uh, bone meal for him. Though I might try some new ones. I have some higher higher tier, higher level stuff available to me. And uh, I'll probably end up trying those out. These look a little brighter, or is it me? Hmm. Maybe it's because it's dark out, but those look like they shine a little bit brighter. Keep the add-on. Keep the add-on. Though, you know what? If I make another uh, Haunted Steel, 
I did find out that I can use two of those buffs at the same time, just one after the other. So I could do run two haunted steals, which is probably what I should do. I did a test, a little bit of testing before, and it turned out that yeah, I've, what I didn't think you could do, you most definitely can do. So I'm happy about that. All right, well I need to sort out my gear, check my devotions, and make sure that I don't want to do some tweaks. Maybe take a star that I didn't take before, and stuff like that. And then if I do make some changes, I'll show it to you. But I've been critical. This has been Grim Dawn. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.